Well, welcome everyone to the second Region 3 Virtual Member Network Connection Meeting. My name is Nick Fralick and I serve as the Director of Campus Recreation Services at centers at Cleveland State University. And for two more months as your NURSA Region 3 Regional Representative. I had the opportunity to meet many of you at the virtual state workshops in the fall, but for those of you that I have not yet met, hello and welcome. Before I get any further, I'd like to turn it over to my co-host Karen so she can introduce herself. Karen. Hi, uh, like Nick, I've had the chance to speak with a lot of you at our state and regional. So once again, nice to see you all. Um, I'm Karen David, the Graduate Assistant for Facility Operations and Member Services until May, um, as well as your Region 3 student leader until May as well. Cool, thanks Karen. So I know that all of us are pretty much zoomed out at this point, so we will keep this uh, brief and to no more than 30 minutes, but the goal today is to celebrate our accomplishments as a region over the last year. We'll be covering three main topics, statistical information of our membership base, contingency fund and region three impact, recognizing our regional and state leadership teams and celebrating our scholarship and award winners. And on the eve of our first ever virtual annual conference, we want to celebrate NURSA Recreational Sports and Fitness Day. On February 22nd, 1950, or 71 years ago, Dr. William Wasson and his colleagues began the vision of NURSA to celebrate health, activity, competition, and inclusivity. So with that in mind, let's get started. First up uh, is our membership base. So as you can see, uh, member institutions, individual memberships, and student memberships <clears throat> are down significantly from FY20. This really should come to no surprise to anyone, as we realize the last 11 months have been financially challenging to both you personally and professionally. I show this slide not to shed negative light, but ra rather to remind everyone if and when the time comes for you or your institution to financially commit resources for student and professional development opportunities, consider renewing your institutional individual membership. We want to preserve our rich history, make the best of our present, and build a successful future for NURSA. If you have already renewed your institutional or individual membership, NURSA appreciates your continued support. All five state workshops and student lead on operated effectively, efficiently, and fiscally responsible this past year especially as all of them took place in a virtual environment. I wanna thank our executive committees from our state associations and our student leadership team from Student Leon for their overall efforts this past year. Our only expenditures from the contingency fund balance was a few hundred dollars to purchase five Zoom licenses to host our virtual state workshops, virtual student lead on and today's member network connection meeting. In terms of our endowment fund balance, we stand at a healthy $25,580. We did add about $1,000 this past year through interest and dividends, and we currently are offering two student scholarships to the annual conference, of course, when it's in person. And the last we had checked, we needed about six to $7,000 more for a third endowed scholarship. With that, I'll turn it over to Karen. Yeah, this year we will we were able to reach a wider audience since we were able to be in a virtual format for our student lead on interstate virtual workshops. So thank you to the 253 people who registered and attended student lead on where we had 23 presentations and 30 volunteers, as well as our state workshops where over the five states we had 523 attendees, as well as over 50 presentations. Um, additionally, we raised over $500. So that we can have students come in person next year to Student Leon, which means that's about seven student scholarships. So thank you to all who attended, participated, donated, and we hope that you got something out of it because we know we did. Perfect, thanks, Karen. Mm -hmm. Moving on to our regional and state leadership teams. So I'd first uh, like to take the opportunity to recognize the state or past state direct directors in each of our five state region. So from Orsa in the state of Ohio, Michelle Rieger and Kurt Schooley. From Michigan, Bill Singleton and Aaron Moen. Wisconsin, Chad Schultz and Marcy Iverson. From Illinois, Alana Harris. And from Indiana, Kristen Watts. Thank you for your leadership. And I'll turn it over to Karen to recognize our state student leaders. 
Yes, our current and previous state student leaders. Um, from Ohio, we had Joe Laughlin. From Michigan, Colton Lee. Wisconsin, Skylar Roots. Illinois, Asna Rupani. And Indiana, Sam, Sam Stidham. Thank you all for your year of service. And we want to thank um, all of our professional leaders and student leaders. Thank you for your leadership and vision for our state associations. And speaking of leadership and vision, I would also like to take the opportunity to introduce to you our newly elected Region 3 Regional Representative, Megan Schwanier from Oakland University. So Megan, I, I believe I saw you on the call. Do you want to take yourself off mute and just say a quick hello? Yeah, hello everyone. I'm Megan Schwanier. I am the Member Services Coordinator at Oakland University, and I'm really excited to serve our region and NERSA, so look forward to working with all of you. Thanks, Megan. And yes, you'll, uh, so my transition will happen and same thing with Karen on April 30th, and then Megan will take over uh, beginning May 1st. I'd like to turn it over to Karen again to introduce our new student leadership. Yeah, our new student uh, member network representative will be Alia Valdez from The Ohio State University. Um, she, I don't believe is on the call. Alia, are you here? I'm here. Oh. You're under Sarah Heemstra, that's why I was like, she's on there. <laughs> so please feel free to introduce yourself and tell us about yourself. Hello everyone, nice to see you all. My name is Aliyah Valdez. I'm the current group fitness graduate assistant at Ohio State, and I'm a first year master's student in the higher education and student affairs program. I did my undergrad at the University of Central Florida where I worked at the rec center for three years and also served as the state student leader of Florida. Um, but overall, I'm very excited to be here and work with you all, so thank you. Welcome, Aaliyah. Thank you. I'd also like to take a minute to recognize and thank Karen David. Obviously, she's on this call for her commitment, service, and dedication to NERSA and to Region 3. Karen has served, our region, served as our Region 3 student representative this past year. She led our five student state leaders, served on the NERSA student leadership team, and led us through our first Region 3 virtual student lead on. Karen has always impressed and she's demonstrated leadership skills beyond her years. I truly appreciate everything you've done for our region. I look forward to following what will surely be a successful career. And hint, hint, she is looking for a full-time position. So thanks, Karen. Yes, thank you, Nick. It's a bit of pleasure working with you over the last year as well. <laughs> thanks. Now on to our um, scholarships and awards. So our Horace Moody Award is Veronica Chevalier from the University of Notre Dame. Our William N. Wasson Student Leadership Award is our very own Karen David from the University of Dayton. The NERSA USTA Tennis Ace Award goes to Lorraine County Community College, which is um, actually in Elyria, Ohio, a suburb of Cleveland. And then our NERSA Outstanding Facilities Award goes to the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Turn it over to Karen to introduce the Creative Excellence Awards. And it looks like we doubled up on the Outstanding Facilities Award. It's just because the University of Wisconsin's facilities are just that outstanding. <laughs> um, Bowling Green State University took first place in the student digital presentation, as well as second place in the integrated marketing campaign, as well as student publication. And the University of Wisconsin-Madison placed first place with their integrated marketing campaign, their audiovisual promotion, their large social signage, as well as placed in second for their social media campaigns. And once again, congratulations, University of Wisconsin-Madison for your outstanding facility. Congratulations to all of our scholarship and award winners. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to Jess Gentry. Jess, Jess is the Associate Director of Programs at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. She is also the 2019 Region 3 Regional Award of Merit recipient and is serving as the chair of our Region 3 Regional Award of Merit Committee for 2021. So Jess. Thanks, Nick. Um, I'm gonna say the names real quick just because I don't wanna talk to myself. <laughs> that picture's staring right at me. Uh, but yeah, just taking a minute to acknowledge our committee members. So Lexi Sheppy from University of Michigan, Dave D'Angelo from the Ohio State, um, Mark DeShark from University of Notre Dame, and Therese Kennedy from Wisconsin Whitewater. So um, appreciate all their involvement to help us solicit and then ultimately select um, our recipient for this year. Um, you know, 
before we shift into this year's award, I uh, want to take the opportunity to recognize our previous award winners. Um, this year's recipient is certainly looking to join some elite company in the history of this award. Um, so really looking forward to getting into that shortly. Uh, before we do though, um, I did just want to make uh, reference to the passing of one of our former award recipients this past year. Um, I know many of us, if not all of us, um, knew Rin um, and have very, you know, very sad feelings about what happened and really just miss um, being able to see her around. Um, you know, it always would be challenging to lose someone of Rin, Rin's magnitude, my apologies. Um, but it seems even more so just given that the standard coping mechanisms weren't available due to the pandemic. So um, with that in mind, I just want to take a few seconds uh, right now and ask for a moment of silence in remembrance of Ren. Thank you. So um, what a bizarre and challenging year. It's admittedly really hard for me not to see um, even people's faces right now. So I apologize if, if it seems a little disjointed. Um, but I was telling Dustin the other day uh, that sometimes it's like, oh, has it really been a year? And then sometimes it's holy crap. It's only been a year, um, which those of you that know me, um, no, I probably didn't say crap, but trying to keep things clean. Uh, for today. So we'll see how that goes. Um, anyways, just after the year that it's been, um, there is something that I found just positively overwhelming um, about being able to come together, even, you know, through Zoom um, and recognize the good. So, um, you know, I remember just two years ago, we were in person in some fantastic February Boston weather. Um, we were shoulder to shoulder there weren't stickers on the floor every six feet. We could see the bottom half of everybody's faces. Man, what a time if we could have imagined it. Um, but I digress. Uh, obviously, you know, we can't do the stand up, sit down thing this year. And I don't think I can reasonably keep track of not accidentally saying our recipient's name um, or any of the other things required of a surprise reveal. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that our 2021 Region 3 Award of Merit recipient is Amy Seth from Western Michigan University. Um, it was thoroughly enjoyable, um, just and inspiring to read the number of nominations that came in um, in support of Amy's um, receiving this award. Um, you know, while I was and still am incredibly honored to be a previous recipient, um, I found myself even more excited to be able to um, present this award and honor such an amazing servant leader. Uh, Amy's accomplishments are many, uh, far too many to note here, but I would be remiss um, if I didn't at least mention a handful of them. She's a founding member of MRSA, ensuring the state of Michigan was aligned with NURSA as an association uh, and working to help other states develop similar structures. She served as the state director of Michigan, not once, but twice, often pinch hitting for individuals that had to step out for other leadership purposes. Um, she was selected as the inaugural recipient of the Dr. Tom R. Jones Outstanding Member Award, presented to the MRSA member who demonstrates outstanding leadership and service to MRSA um, and to recreational sports in the state of Michigan. Uh, she's had service on countless NURSA and MRSA committees and presenting at conferences. And lastly, but certainly not least, um, hosting a MRSA state workshop, hosting two regional basketball tournaments, one state volleyball tournament, one flag football retreat, and numerous retreats and get-togethers at her own home. Um, every single nomination and letter uh, made mention of Amy's preference to not to draw attention to herself. Um, Kim Schmidt shared about Amy, she would much rather fly under the radar um, and is quick to recognize others and their successes. Greg Jordan noted that Amy's not one who seeks recognition for her service, but is one who recognizes the importance and value of serving our association and profession. Kathy Law had recognized similarities between nurses' mission statement of providing educational and development opportunities, generating and sharing knowledge, and promoting networking and growth for our members, and how Amy fulfills that in every sense of each word. Kathy said the three phrases describe Amy perfectly. She does all of those things every day with her staff and students, her campus colleagues, and her NURSA friends and colleagues. 
Darren Lee shared that while he would often say he worked for Amy, she would counter that he worked with her, not for her. And that was just Amy. Lastly, I'd like to leave you with a story Kim Schmidt shared in her nomination. Kim noted a young professional from her institution had attended a nursing conference with her and Kim was able to introduce the individual to countless um, others, many being nurse leaders. At the end of the conference, the young professional mentioned to Kim that Amy was the favorite person she had met the entire time. While this certainly didn't surprise Kim, she asked the young professional why. The response was, when Amy spoke to me, she wasn't half listening while looking to see who else she could speak with. When we talked, Amy was completely engaged in our conversation and truly interested in what I had to share. Um, thank you for allowing me to pre present this award today um, and star on this episode of WandaVision. Um, and without further ado, I'd like to introduce our 2021 Region 3 Award of Merit winner, Amy Seth, the Director of University Recreation at Western Michigan University. Amy? Thanks, Jess. This is such an odd place to be, uh, and you are absolutely correct. Uh, I am not one to be in the middle of things, uh, but Region 3 really is the place to be. Uh, I'm truly humbled. I want to thank the NERSA committee for the Region 3 Award of Merit. I, I am honored. I've been in the region my entire career, which is pretty crazy, over 30 years. Uh, I know the names and the talents. I saw the list of those who received this honor, and I'm humbled to join them. For those that don't know me, it's true. Awards are not my thing. I prefer to lead in the background or alongside others. So I'm fully aware of the opportunities I've had. My role is to pull up others into this space as others have done that for me. None of this is possible without the help of, of people that I've worked with. So I have a few thank yous. My Western Michigan University staff and family, you are the best. Thank you for your creativity, your can-do attitudes. You give me, you give great passion and impact lives daily. I can't imagine serving with a better group of people who are my family and thank you. To my MRSA Rec Sports Association, thanks for making space for young staff to explore new leadership skills. This is where I began. Uh, you are a great supportive space for people to rise. A lot of great talent emerges from this group. To my, rec, my MAC Rec Sports Directors, thanks for the opportunity to bond and grow as we've traveled the countryside, learning about other campuses. I've loved exploring the future of our profession and life. You are great models of servant leaders. And to the ladies of the KLSLM, thank you for your sisterhood. Thank you for encouraging me to be my best authentic self. And Kim Schmidt, thanks for being my champion. Again, NERSA Region 3 colleagues and friends, thank you for this award. Congratulations, Amy. If everybody would, wouldn't mind taking them th themselves off mute for a minute and, and actually giving a round of applause. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. Congratulations, Amy. All right, with that, we we'll go to very quick state business. So today, uh, just following this meeting in, an, in another uh, seven or eight minutes, uh, Ohio and Michigan will, will host their state business meetings at 4.30. The state of Illinois will go on March 4th at two o'clock. And then Wisconsin and Indiana, um, their dates are either TBA or they will wait until their fall state workshops uh, next year. So that is actually the conclusion of the Region 3 Member Network Connection Meeting. I hope everybody enjoys their virtual annual conference over these next uh, three or three days or so, four days, um, starting today and this evening. And with that, we'll kind of conclude. So if, if people want to take themselves off mute, and if they want to, again, congratulate Amy, or just stay on to chat for a few minutes, uh, we can stay on for another two or three minutes, and then uh, we'll get to our state workshops. So thank you, everyone.